you're literally reminding me what happened now until I, until, I, until I remember when something. It's, when it's my blog, it's difficult because there's a lot of me trying to be clever. And Shall I, I open I the blog too? To the <laughs> Read your blog out like it's my own work. <laughs> <laughs> no, someone said. It was Black Jungle Snake said he wanted a copy of my book signed by me and you. I'm like, hold on, <laughs> my book has got nothing to do with Gaz. Well, <laughs> I was there at the beginning. I man. didn't even fucking know you. <laughs> I was like, what is this? You can't jump on that. Yeah, but okay. he knows that in the long run, my <laughs> autograph is probably going to be worth ah, more than yours. Who so. are you, Sam Fox? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got this pen in my back pocket. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were just pleased to see me. <laughs> <laughs> like, so did everyone else. Like when we met Ryan. <laughs> I've got another joke about that later. I wore those shorts yesterday <laughs> and my friend goes, those shorts don't leave much to the imagination. I was like, no, I've heard it all over <laughs> social media as well. Like, I know. You're still wearing them though. <laughs> um, hold on. So Gemma said, Paul wants to stir his little pot and stroke his pet rat. Who's <laughs> 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 his pet rat? Um, and uh, uh, this day Paul had a little top knot, a little... Paul's hair, like... you got to give him props, he's only got short hair, how is he getting it into so many different styles? He's got quite a lot on top, actually I'd like to see him like sat in the diary room chair like scrolling mm. through all the hairstyles. Yeah. Yeah. Ask Dave Wall to do that one. Um. He never makes what I ask him to make. Well, he's got his own shit going on, sure. The housemates are playing a game of celebrity spin the bottle. How is, oh, yeah. How is that different to regular spin the bottle? It had um, a more glitzy like <laughs> yeah. board, didn't yeah. it? And I think it was like <laughs> multicoloured. <laughs> whereas there was no board in regular Big Sometimes Brother. Sometimes you just have a bottle, literally just a bottle, like normal people. As if they've decided to do it by themselves, yeah. I think. But if Big Brother supplied it, yeah. you get like a device with a bottle on it. <laughs> device? Sounds like a sex toy. <laughs> Made by the task team. <laughs> Um, Sam and Barry reenacted his EastEnders death scene. Oh, that was good because Sam actually mm. said on night one that he wanted to recreate that. Was that Sam or was that Jordan? I couldn't remember. Sam. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, jokes, jokes. Oh, oh, oh this. Be, oh, Barry, this would be awesome. Um, it was quite good though, no, and Barry good. did bring some emotion into the scene. I felt. Mm. I, d- I do like Barry in one way, and then in another way, he's getting on my nerves. And it's a bit of a waste of space, really. Yeah, it's bugging. Um, Sarah, oh, okay, this is when they had this row because, basically, Gemma snogged mm. Chad, didn't she? For, in the in kitchen. In Spin the Bottle. Oh, it's when yeah. Sam... Gemma snogged Chad in Spin the Bottle, then Sarah snogged Gemma in Spin the Bottle, and uh, then they wanted Sarah to sna- snag... Snag. <laughs> <laughs> Snog Who Sam? Who was it? Sam. Is it? Yeah. Is this when she went, I'm not going to kiss everyone in the house? Yeah. So she was okay about kissing Gemma, but not Sam. Like, what's the Gemma's difference? Gemma's her sworn enemy. Like, why would you want to do that? But when Gemma and Chad did kiss... It I might not have been Sam, I can't remember. I think it was Sam. But when Gemma and Chad kissed, I didn't think Sarah looked that pissed off. But maybe she was. Didn't you say it was no Nikki Graham watching mm, yeah. Pete and Ashley? <laughs> yeah. Kiss? And I did see someone <laughs> use the gif of did Nikki they? watching that when yeah. that happened. I used to have that picture on my computer because it was so good. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then Gemma said, you're basically Chad's bird. Ugh. Oh, yeah, and then Gemma stomped off and kicked something. <laughs> she was annoyed that Sarah was Oh, she kicked the that. table. That's a bit pathetic. I think Big Brother had a go at her. Yeah. And then Gemma said, you got a boyfriend and you're fucking kissing Chad got anyway. A boyfriend, all right. Why was Gemma so upset that Sarah wouldn't kiss Sam during Spin the Bottle? <laughs> <laughs> who cares? Yeah, it's none of her business. <laughs> yeah, And then she gets her. all, like, moral about it, like... I Oh, you've got a boyfriend, you're doing that. Yeah, what, playing spin the bottle, whatever. Um, Sarah said she's had enough and she's been tested to her limits. Um, (laughs) And then for some reason she started having a go at Sam and Jordan outside in the garden. Sarah did. She said, yeah, she said, you two are like winding up the situation. Um, Well, Sam did trick her into admitting that She'd kissed Chad like a few days before. Oh uh, yeah, that was funny. <laughs> um, and then uh, Gemma said, "Get the fuck off me to Jordan." Oh, Gemma was on the rampage, I think, and Jordan tried to like get hold of Gemma's arm, and Gemma said, "Get the fuck off me." It was at the bottom of the stairs. 
Um, yeah. And then... It was kicking off a little bit and he yeah. was trying to get in between. Yeah, and Sarah said... She said that she wasn't being aggressive. Yeah, Sarah said, you need to stop drinking to Gemma. Mm. <laughs> pot kettle black. Don't mention the pots and pans when you're talking about Big Brother. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> 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 and then uh, Sarah said enough is enough is enough is enough I think didn't she go to the diary room yeah, and tell the, Big Brother enough yeah, is enough and you yeah. now need to do something yeah Big Brother went this is good TV though <laughs> yeah and then Sam said that Sarah's just annoyed because Gemma snogged Chad during Spin the Bottle which could be the case so in the diary room Sarah said what uh, Gemma snogged Chad during Spin the Bottle and Sarah was annoyed about that. Oh, yeah. That. I've got to watch that back because I actually don't remember that happening. I don't know are what I was really, doing at the time. Are you really going to watch that back? Uh, maybe. It might be on YouTube. Okay. So Sarah in the dining <laughs> room said, I've got my own stuff to deal with. I don't need it thrown in my face on TV. What Chad's dick. What started off as fun ends up in a tragic fucking war and I'm in the firing line every time. Tragic <laughs> fucking war. <laughs> She's... It's no Loton situation, is it? No, she's at the root of all the psychotic of drama. All evil. <laughs> yeah. Um, so then Big Brother decided not to give the housemates any more alcohol. Someone went mad about it, didn't they? <laughs> I've got a feeling someone was really yeah. not happy about it. I think it was Amelia. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. I do. So this is Sarah's first time saying this is becoming a witch hunt. <sighs> Oh, we're living in a bubble, though. Yeah. <laughs> and she said to she said to Sam and Jordan, "You guys have to change your tunes." <laughs> <What>? <laughs> and oh, God, ah. um, and then Jordan said, "You just get too pissed every night." And then Sarah took her cigarettes back off of him, and she said, "I was out here drinking tea last night." Now, if you she had a night off. if you're someone who does not got a problem with drink, you don't have to point out the nights that you drink tea, do have you? Have a Ribena. Yeah, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's true. Though. Only an alcoholic would go, "Oh, I would," but last night I drank tea. <laughs> if you got, it's not like I go yeah, to you. True. Oh no, I'm just I'm just drinking orange squash right now. Like you don't mention <laughs> it because it's irrelevant. Because yeah. you're not an alcoholic, so you're blowing your own cover. Also, I've never seen her drinking tea. I don't even know what cups they've got in there now. Um. They've got quite big wine glasses. I remember seeing Brandy drinking. The wine glasses are really nice. I like those. Yeah. Um, and they're actually not drinking cups of tea out of bloody plastic glasses. And jars and shit. Yeah, yeah. like the... Uh, but the tea cups they had last series are really nice. Mm. But they, I don't know why none of them like to drink out of them. No. Maybe they were too, like, sorcery, like, afternoon tea. It's like right. effort to hold it, isn't it? You look yeah. pinky out. <laughs> like, it's not Chanel style. It ain't for me, right? <laughs> like you with the queen. <laughs> um, so then... Um, Jordan said, none of us can drink now because of you. You're ruining everyone's night every night. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised Jordan said that to Sarah. And then I've put, look at Jordan's two short trousers with his little red socks. It's hard to take him seriously. And he has a bandage on his arm. Oh, yeah. He suddenly had a bandage <laughs> yeah. over the whole of his arm. Mm. And I thought he'd got like a sneaky sleeve done. like been out with some tattoos. We never found out. If you know what happened to Jordan's arm, no one knows. please can you tweet us at BB on Blast? Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking, is that right? Oh, yeah, that is the tweet. Twitter. <laughs> I've got some more followers this week because I followed some people on BB on Blast. Yeah, I followed some of your followers and some of mine. Oh, nice, nice um, <laughs> social media ta- growth <laughs> tactics. <laughs> Now, if you'd like to do Lindsay's next <laughs> seminar on how to grow your social media following, email her at babyonblastpod at gmail.com. Shut up. All right, so then um, I've put, what does Chad see in Sarah? That's, that could be a whole podcast. She, she's even asking that question herself. Is, is it that he, he thinks she's popular and famous? That's what Brandy was suggesting. Yeah. That basically, he sees her as a route to some sort of fame after Big Brother mm. or something. But like... Caesar is a route to something. Look at her, like <laughs> she's hardly some sort of pop idol, is she? Like she's a state. She's in that fucking dress, that dressing gown, girls. She will go put on a shiny dress. <laughs> <laughs> I know people do keep telling her what to wear, but that dog dressing gown. I, even Chad's wearing it now. It's got a go. It's got a go. <laughs> um, so then, um, oh, this is what. Yeah, it was a media moaning about the alcohol. <laughs> She went, oh, she went, 
well, we're not allowed any more alcohol. And then Sarah was, went in the toilet and then Amelia comes to talk to him. She had to fuck off. Yeah, Sarah the went, door. go away, I've had enough. And then Amelia like stomped off and it's fucking disgusting being spoken to like that. Talking to me like a piece of shit fucking arsehole. What I think is interesting about Amelia and Sarah's dynamic mm. is that coming into this... Amelia kind of idolised Sarah. She was mm. like, oh, highlight of my career was supporting girls out on tour. Okay. And now she realises that Sarah is just a fucking messed up rotten cow. Yeah. It's don't, interesting, don't isn't it? Don't meet your idols. Never meet your idols. No. Um, but that, were you surprised to hear Amelia pipe up like that and get so offended? Who cares if Sarah Harden shouts, go away for a toilet door at you? <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> I was glad that she got angry about it. Yeah, that was a funny at least scene. she did something. Yeah. Uh-huh. You don't speak up, mate. <laughs> Poor me, poor me. <laughs> um, and then, oh yeah, and then Chad came to comfort Sarah in the toilet. Didn't they end up having a kiss? Yeah. It went from like an argument and crying yeah, and then to you a heard, like, kiss. <laughs> and they didn't even put the fucking taps on. Do you think Chad takes advantage of Sarah's... Oh. You know, because... This is a theory that I've not heard. Well, think about it. She's obviously a fucking wreck and he's just trying to get his end away, basically, isn't he? Oh, Maybe. I mean, it is a good way to kind of shut her up, I suppose, get off with her, but... Ram a cock down her throat. <laughs> Gaz! <laughs> I mean, other orifices are available. It's like you're doing an advert for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're, throwing me, you're throwing me off now. Sorry about um, that. Hold on. Is it wrong to take advantage of a drunk, crying mental case? And the thing is, she wants that. So I don't think she's he, she's being taken advantage of. No. Like, they are regularly going from row to smooch. Like, it's yes. a bit like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like Mr and Mrs Smith. They had that, like, smooch. nobody got killed sex when they had a row. Mm, I don't know about that. Um, okay, so then... Oh, I forgot it was an eviction. So the two who were safe was Helen and Gemma. I spelled Gemma with a G there. Was That's that out of how many people again? Sam and Jordan... Oh, was it? Oh, yeah, you're right, yeah. God. Um, Oh, and this was when Sarah and Chad, like, looked at each other, like, just horrified, because Gemma had been saved. Okay. Um, It was like, Sarah just looked at Chad, and Chad was just, like, shitting himself, Was Sarah not nominated? Um, No, not on that one, I don't think. I know, because she won the task about the cheerleading thing, and she was on that team, so she couldn't be. And then... Sam and Jordan are basically upset because they're going to be split up. Thank God. Oh. To put up with that shit anymore. Well, yeah. that, I wish Sam had gone and not Jordan, don't you? Mm. The fact you're even having to think about that is making me worried about your opinions. I mean, they're interchangeable. No, they're not. You Jordan's think that, actually... Uh, uh, no, okay, I did say it would have been better to lose Sam because then it sort of takes out the Amelia... It's not just that. Showman. I think Jordan seems like a much nicer person than Sam. Sam's a little runt. A little posh twat. And Jordan's a bit nicer to look at than Sam if we're going down that road. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I agree on all of those points. Ah. But I don't know what what sort of he had left mm. what what of a storyline he had left in him like what would his storyline have been next? he hasn't even come out of his shell yet <laughs> well there was only ever one winner of um, Celebrity Big Brother Summer 2017 <laughs> he's like the anti Roger Federer so then um, tell me about this Roger Federer reference Roger, you made because I don't know Roger Federer like so, had a fucking jacket ready with winner of Wimbledon whatever like when he went out to a final like so he knew he was gonna win it and then put the fucking jacket on when he won it don't you think that's a cunt move that's a yes. dick that is a dick and move, Jordan doing it? it was also yeah. fucking embarrassing yeah the fact that he at also at least Roger Federer won <laughs> well yeah exactly <laughs> but still it's just that egotism no but like just like however yeah. Roger Federer, who yeah. has a track record of winning mm. tennis tournaments, yeah. can kind of forgive him a yeah. little bit more I can't. than Jordan smug, walking into the Big Brother house assuming that he'll be the most popular jo- person. Jordan said on that launch night, I'm going to win it. Do you remember? No, I don't. Like Bear said, put some money on me, I'm going to win it. But he actually did win it. <laughs> Ruthless. <laughs> Open the door now. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. I'm Dan, I'm calm. So, but yeah, uh, <laughs> what did he say? I just wanted some air or something. <laughs> but 
But yeah, Sarah and Chad's face when Gemma got saved was it, it, it was it Sarah's oh her emotions showing her face bad. Um so then um yeah, Jordan's in 